It's your boy Step Back Kid early in the morning, getting busy, thinking about LA, 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 big city of dreams. Yes, sir, the Clippers just made another move. Now it's official, now I can talk about it. D Cousins is officially, officially on the Clippers, and now they add some more offense to their superlative offensive scheme team with the defensive minded Kawhi Leonard. A Paul George that's defensive minded, a Ray John Rondo, Pop Beverly that's defensive minded. You add on a, a tough as nails, Markeith Nor Morris, a subsurge Ibaka. I tell you what, defensively, the Clippers are deadly. They added some offense. Now, I'm not gonna slight Zubak. I think Zubak is a great player. I think if he was on another team, easily a double double. All right. Not sliding him at all, but now you add in Cousins, and this is a former super all star, right? We know of his experience with the New Orleans Pelicans, we know of the injury with the Lakers and Golden State, all those things came to pass. However, however, does he still have something left? Is there still something left in those cousin arms? With one of the most, I would say, before Jokic, there was Cousins. No offense, the guy can shoot the three, he can pass, you know, he does everything well. Big body, smooth, smooth, smooth operator at the end of the day. Now, how do they stack up and what does this mean for this squad? All right, what does this mean? The challenge is gelling, the gel. I like what they're doing here. You got Luke Kennard, right, as your backup two guard. Let's take man out of there. I like man, but I like Kennard better. You got Jackson as your third. The Clippers, another team that's looking pretty sick, that's looking pretty nice, right? They got everything now, all right? Now, if there's one thing that I would like to add to this team, all right, is the lack of three-point shooting. I, I, when you got Pat Patterson as, as one of your best three-point shooters, no, no slight to him. The stretch four, I got, I got, I got, I got a question there, right? I'm, I'm just saying that, right? So, you know, Paul George is there. He's a little bit. He's still a scorer, man. At the end of the day, he's not one of those short shot guys. You turn your head, he makes it. Sorry, Kawhi Leonard is not known as a big three-point shooter. All right, so we got that as well. So. There's a couple of these things that are coming to pass around with the Clippers where I'm saying go attack that three-point position. How can you add on to that? You need a guy that comes in eight, ten minutes a day, you know, you know, like a, like a Duncan guy from the Heat, you know, the Duncan kid from the, heat, from the Heat. Somebody in that realm, you know, that you know is a short fire. I, I know Luke Kennard is there. I get it. All right, but coffee's not there. I don't think man is that consistent. Reggie Jackson's not that consistent. You got Batum, and he's a question mark, right? You got Patterson. Now you're adding cousins that can stretch, but there's no consistent three guy. If there's one thing that I would add, that would be it. Now, how do they fare against the Lake Show? If cousins is healthy, if cousins can somehow get back to 75% of cousins. With this squad defensively at the point guard position, remember, they got Rondo Beverly, okay? Two great point guard defenders, all right? That's going to go against, we're talking about Denver. You know Denver is going to put in some work in the Lake Show, right? Just because LeBron, it's the respect for LeBron. You got the two guard position. Will Paul George show up, all right? Will the real Paul George show up? The Paul George from the Indiana Pacers that made his way in his name heard all around the NBA after that Heat series. That's what it's about. The guards, Paul George, and I do think they need to add one more insurance play from the three-point line. The dude may never play. I'm talking about like a Gerald Green or somebody. They may never play. They just need that type of insurance as, a, as another three-point shooter because I'm not too heavily satisfied from what I'm seeing, all right? So with that said, the game is thrown. DeMarcus Cousins is added, and now we have our situation where the playoffs in the West Coast is running up to be one of the scariest situations 
for the NBA because I think this is going to be like the NCAA tournament. It's going to be back and forth. We don't know who's going to win, who's going to lose. It's just so evenly stacked. The Jazz run the three-point game. The Nuggets win the youth and the scare-dumb game. You know, you got the Lakers with the old school. We did it before game, and now the Clippers are in it like, man, we got it all game. So it's all here. I'm signing off. Step back, kids. Cousins to the Clippers. What does it mean? Man, they're in the top four. That's definitely so. I'm out. Peace.